Hi, Scorpio Collective. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. I'm doing fine. It's beautiful outside today. The birds are singing. Oops, wrong deck. What is that? Atlantis. Maybe we'll keep that when it was meant to be there. Atlantis. You remember a lifetime in, in Atlantis? Or possibly you remember escaping Atlantis? Okay, so we get trying, support, and inspiration. That's what you are. You're support and inspiration to people. Gemini, the communicative. You're communicating um, support and inspiration. Deep down, Libra, the beautiful-minded. Deep down, you're balanced and fair in your conscious mind love and partnership possibly um this is what you're working on right now this is your next step um clarify or um sorry we're not clarifying it <laughs> Um, in the past, we have dream and spirit. You've been connected to spirit through your dreams, possibly. And just in general, you've connected with spirit in your life. In the future, um, we got eighth house, transformation, mystery. The universe, great spirit cracks me up. In the future, mystery. We're not telling you. That's <laughs> what they always tell me. We're not telling you. It's a mystery. It's something that you have to experience. That's why they made the game this way. They hide stuff from you on purpose. So you experience it. Instead of um, just knowing it's going to happen. And then it happening. It's the whole experience that your uh, soul learns from. Okay, so you're feeling, right now, you're feeling old karma. South node of the moon. Okay, or somebody in your, I don't know, this might be somebody else popping up because somebody else is going to pop up. We got um, people paying for old karma. It's weird how, like, people got away with stuff for so long, and now they're just going to be, like, slapped. But I guess they were warned, and they didn't listen or something, and they were given lots of chances, and they were given the opportunity to expand their soul as well, and to um, they were given the opportunity to change direction several times, to just turn around and um, stop, and they didn't eventually, you got to know, eventually, they're going to pay karma for that. Or I should say they've got to know that, right? Um, and that's probably why I'm feeling all this, like, real um, chaotic, like, people are just anxious and freaked out and not knowing what they're going to do. They really um, wished a lot of terrible things for you, and that's what's coming back to them. In your environment, we have the what? Oh, the extrovert. Leo. <clears throat> so possibly you're being bold in your environment. You're standing out. You're showing strength. And final outcome, 12th house, spirituality and art. Isn't that like the final house or whatever, the 12th house? So like you've reached all the way up through all the houses to spirituality and art. Look how they're synonymous, spirituality and art. All the artists are spiritualists, naturally. That's why society has been set up to 
um, oppress artists because the resistance knew just by you being creative that you were a threat to their um, program because you can, with your creativity, you can see beyond the veil. You can see into the spiritual world. All right, let's pull some tarot, see what we find. <laughs> that last card doesn't want to come up, what was it? Two of Pentacles, change. Yeah, these people are not wanting change at all. Not at all. Change to the um, three of wands. Yeah, they don't want they don't want you to make progress. Every bit of progress somehow that you make um, brings them their karma, their day of judgment. Possibly because you've gotten your day of judgment and you were exalted. And they thought that they could somehow, if they could stop that, because they've been stopping their karma from hitting them all these years. So they thought if they could stop you from getting your good karma, from you being exalted, then they could stop themselves from getting their bad karma. And possibly that's true. I mean, I don't really know. It seems like they've studied this stuff more than I have. Like, I don't even know half the stuff they're trying to do. It doesn't make any sense to me. All right, let's clarify support and inspiration in the current position. Your support and inspiration to people. Um, an activist. Princess of Swords. So you could be a... Um, an inspirational activist of some kind. Um, clarify the communicative. Five of um, cups. So what you're doing is you're inspiring people who have literally kind of like given up on life and are living in a state of depression because of the state of the world is in so your your goal is to communicate to those types of people um and bring them out of this five of swords five of pentacles mentality like um feeling left out in the cold feeling like there's no love in the world um <clears throat> feeling like there's like really nothing for them that's really kind of cool all right, deep down, clarifying Libra, we have Queen of Cups. Yeah, deep, the therapist, deep down you know you have the information that it takes to get people to come out of this um, depression and abandonment feeling, and that you can help them to break free of this 3D matrix. Okay, let's clarify um, love and partnership. This could just be you're showing love to the world to... Oh no, you're trying to... <laughs> the chariot. So in your conscious mind, you are thinking about love and partnership. And it could be with somebody of a different race. It could be somebody of a um, different religion or like a different, like it, um, extreme age differences. Anyways, there's some like big difference between you that you're going to pull together. They could drive a yellow car. Or you do. Hopefully you don't drive on top of your car. All right. In the past, we have completion. Um, a 
this up. I'm trying to figure out if that's wands. No, that can't be wands. It's not pentacles. Is it cups? No. Swords. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll figure it out eventually. It says completion. In the recent past, you completed um, some kind of a spiritual lesson. Um, or some kind of, I don't know, you completed something that had to do with spirituality. Um, let's clarify transformation and mystery in the future. We get truths. Four swords. This is four swords. So that can't be four swords. It must be four wands. Stability. You, you stabilize your spirit, your soul. And then coming into the future, transformation and mystery, you are going to be calling a truce with something. Clarify four swords. That could just be healing, but it says truce. So I think you're calling a truce with your past. With this um, <clears throat> being defensive. Maybe you're just done being defensive. Because they can't defeat you. You know they can't defeat you. So <clears throat> why even be defensive? Hmm. That's pretty cool. Alright. You feel like people are getting their karma. And we get the Queen of Wands inverted is getting karma right now. This is a witch. Somebody that was doing black magic on you probably. At least talking all, like mad crap about you. Um, you also feel um, communication interaction is clarified by the sun. Yeah, your, inter your interaction and communication with people from now on, you feel, should just be happy and light, cheerful. You really don't have anything to defend or any, you know, you don't have to worry about protecting yourself because you are protected naturally. Plus, you have all your extra spirit team and they keep growing every day. Your spirit team grows every day as you heal your ancestors. Um, <clears throat> in the environment, we have the queen of discs, the matriarch, clarifying the extrovert. Um, possibly you have somebody in your environment that is... A healer stable influence in your life somebody that reaches out to you or this is you you're reaching out to people in your environment and helping to heal them it almost sounds more like it um, in the outcome we have spirituality and art and I get six of cups again for the final outcome I got this in the last reading for collective at Gatekeeper 99. Six of Cups. Someone from your past is coming back. Past lay soulmate or past ex lover. But this time it's going to bring you a lot of pleasure. And this time you're going to connect on spirituality and art rather than. <sighs> booze <laughs> maybe that's how you guys connected in the past i don't know 
Um, let's pull an animal card and we'll wrap this up. This is looking pretty good. These regions are looking great today. There's um, just that little bit of stickiness with people going through their karma, but um, just remember it's for their own good. They need it to be able to spiritually develop and, and um, they chose this, unfortunately. Like I said, they had the chance to turn around many times. They were given warnings and they didn't turn around. All right, cat, independence. You are being encouraged to develop a balance between independence and time of togetherness. This also indicates that you would greatly benefit from a profound journey or of self-discovery. Learn to enjoy time spent with yourself. Yeah. That's what you've been doing. You're like a cat. All independent. Can do with people or without them. It does not matter. That's pretty um, profound. That is very profound. All right. Love you, Scorpio Collective. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll get back to you soon. Thank you. Have a beautiful day.